What's going on, Orlando Magic fans? Welcome to the Six Man Show Post Game Live presented by Rock'em. Oh, baby. A lot of people had this game circled. Was this Magic team for real? They struggled earlier this month against some good teams. Did they have it in them? I'd say they had it in them. Wow. Magic win. Let's go. Uh, it's a very special night here at the Six Man Show. We have a special surprise coming up later in the show, which is, um, and by later, I mean very, very soon. I, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's coming soon. All right, so we'll get to that in just a little bit. But for now, let me tell you about this show. This show is the Six Man Show Post Game Live. It's presented by Rock'em. Rock'em is the world's largest sock store. They're located in Orlando. Uh, they make socks and underwear for some of your favorite sports teams, like the Orlando Magic, but also your favorite uh, NHL, college teams, uh, NFL teams as well. And so we always encourage everyone to shop at rock'em.com and use that code MAGIC20. Why? Because it'll get you 20% off of your order at rock'em.com. Big shout out to Rock'em. They're amazing. They're awesome. I know they're fired up right now after this game tonight. Magic get a big victory, 121 to 106 against the New Orleans Pelicans. Let's freaking go. We've got not one, not two, not three, but four Super Chats. We're going to kick this off with here. First off, we have Louis Rosario. It says, Jam Hot Chicken Dunk Party in O-Town tonight. How many dunks and layups at the end did the Magic get tonight? They struggled with them in the beginning, and we'll talk about that later. But wow. Thanks, Louis, for that. Ty says, Luke, it's pretty nippy this spring, isn't it? Huh. Maybe. Maybe a little bit nippy over here at the post-game live show. We'll find out. Luis Rosario says, second unit saved the second quarter tonight. How good were they? We're going to talk about them in a little bit. And Luis Rosario with another one says, that was a regular season slash playoff game. That was very fun. Again, a lot of question marks about this team coming into this game tonight. Uh, and <laughs> obviously the magic answered every single one of those questions tonight. And I am super pumped to get to talk more about this game coming up later. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the chat here. Oh, right off the bat. The six man show says, play the song, play the song. I don't know, guys. You think we should play the song today? I, okay. Here's the deal. We'll play the song, but I don't want to play the song by myself. I can't sit here and just play the song by myself tonight. I feel like I should bring somebody in here with me. Hmm. Let's bring in. Luke yeah, Zaria. let me out of here. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Come on. Free the dips. Free the dips. Free the dips. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's That's go. A five 42 game win wins. Streak. 42 wins. Let's go. Five game win streak. Paolo goes for what? 20, 10, and 11. Franz Wagner, 20 plus points. Jalen Suggs, 20 plus points. And then you blow out the New Orleans Pelicans on your home court, man. I am. I'm pumped for this win. More to come, but man, this just shows us this team is tuning up for playoff basketball and specifically playoff basketball in the O. Kevin, I I cannot wait. As you can tell, the nips are out. They could cut glass right now. We're here. <laughs> Let's go. Tarps off, baby. Oh off. man. Orlando Magic five game win streak. And if you're new to the six man show, welcome. This is what happens. Five game win streak. <laughs> Luke's shirt comes off. We have a party. Let's go. Six man show also says give the people what they want. And uh <laughs> <laughs> there's that. Thanks, Jonathan, for that. Oh goodness. Wow, before we go to the chat, before we do all this other stuff, Luke, general thoughts about this game tonight. What what a what a performance. Uh, really impressive because you start off the game and just literally cold from inside the paint. You can't buy a bucket inside the paint. And then you get to the point where the bench comes in. I tweeted this out from my account, but I, I just said like it, the, the this, our bench has to murder their bench to stay in this game in any capacity. Cause I believe you're down 10 plus or something like that. Bench comes in and just is able to take over. Right, that bench unit stuck it to the Pelicans, and then going into the into the second half, you've you've got the lead, obviously. But the whole time, I'm thinking, don't collapse in the third, like we've become so accustomed to. And Franz Wagner addressed the media, you know, a few games ago about that, and said after that Pacers game, we said 
we're we're done with this like we addressed it we we want to prov- you know we want to do way better coming out of that into the second half and then for them to come out and prove it tonight against a really good pelicans team was the most impressive part to me and then fourth quarter another highlight you're uh you're up 20 fourth quarter pelicans start the fourth crowd on a 10-0 run and to essentially just take over the game after that and win by 15 points shows the growth and the maturity. I'm sure we'll hear a lot of Mosley Bud's words tonight in the in the uh, post game ones like growth and and decision making and all of that. This team put it all on display and was hitting the three ball, and that really is what kept you in the game. Just gave us a glimpse into what this team can be like if they take high volume threes and they have three point shot makers on this team. And just continue to grow and get better. This was one of the most important and best wins of the season. Yeah, super, super impressive. Again, especially the slow start. It could have been very easy to get in their own heads mentally. Like, oh, here we go again. Good team. Third time in a row we've played a good team and not done well. But uh, credit to the Magic. They just stuck stuck to their game. And wow, did it pay off big time. We got a couple other Super Chats that came in here. One from Ty, Mr. TV, says those nips deserve their own Super Chat. How about that? <laughs> and then Soul Train says, it. when Denver beats New York, Magic will be back at number four. You better believe, guys, at the end of the show, we're going to talk about, obviously, teams around us. Uh, we'll pull up the, the spreadsheet, of course. Uh, tonight could be a big night for the Magic. Not just, obviously, with the Knicks involved here, but uh, there was some movement yesterday with the Cavs and, you know, the Magic today. And so I, I'm just saying that that three seeds well within within reach. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at some of the chat here tonight. Chat's been super active, which you just love to see. Brian says, great game. I hope some casuals watched the game uh, on NBA TV and saw how good the Magic are. Facts, man. It's obviously we joke about it not being actually nationally televised you know, I don't count the NBA, NBA TV games as nationally televised, but they do have a wider audience than an NBA League Pass game, and so you're right. Maybe maybe some casuals got to watch that. Ace says, the Magic, we're absolutely on fire tonight. It seemed like we couldn't miss it all. Certainly after the, the early start, where Luke, like the Magic started like 0 of 9 in the paint or something absurd yeah. like that, which is like, that's unheard of in the NBA. Um, but yeah, after that, second quarter on, Magic shot the ball pretty well, especially from uh, from beyond the arc. Uh, Gary Simmons Jr. just says Jalen. Just Jalen. That's all. Yeah. Jalen. What a night for him. I mean, big bucket after big bucket, especially early. He's one of the guys that really got the offense going. Hit two, maybe three threes in that first quarter. I can't remember. Uh, but really got the magic going there. Jeremy says, the magic finally proving to me they can beat good teams, play that beautiful song. Here's the thing with this narrative, though. Yeah, the magic struggled against good teams a couple weeks ago. They've had a relatively easy schedule of late, but let's not forget the first half of the season when the Magic did beat just about every good team. Like, you beat the Celtics, you beat the Nuggets, not once but twice. You know, the Magic have beaten plenty of good teams. They had a stretch where they didn't do as well, but, you know, they've had they've had plenty of good wins. We just got a super chat coming in from Cool Beans. It says, Jalen, hit him with the quick smell my fart against Charlotte Whoa. and New Orleans. Love it. Wow, well, okay. I, I like that. I've never heard that in my life. Uh, have you hit... I don't know that I've ever hit... Well, I have, but I haven't actually said it. Quick smell my <laughs> fart, so I appreciate that. But you know what? I would I would expect nothing less from a guy with the name Cool Beans. Yeah, to, Beans, uh, Beans. To, to hit us with a fart joke. Thank beans, you for Beans. That. I'm for 47. I think that's hilarious. That's so. great, yeah. Thank you. That's so funny. You're like... I mean, we've all done it, but I've never said it, you know? <laughs> I've never said it. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing thank you so much for that super chat cool beans uh let's see here um uh, doc says go denver facts beat the knicks tonight let's go denver nuggets love to see that uh paul says pels to bounce back against the heat win win when they don't play like this first round playoffs or when sorry when they play like this first round playoffs won't be enough it's hard to argue. I mean, some of the stuff we saw from this team, especially defensively, I mean, offensively, whatever, Magic shot the ball well and stuff. But I thought defensively the Magic were really, really good tonight. Um, sure, they, they... I mean, here's the thing. Pelicans scored some easy ones. That happens. It's the NBA, you know? Left some guys open for three. It happens. It's the NBA. But by and large, the Magic did a really, really good job tonight. But you're right. Pelicans play the Heat tomorrow, I believe. Second night of a back-to-back for them. Uh, hopefully they can find a way. Uh, another super chat coming in here from Shahin says Nips party. Mm, truly didn't expect <laughs> this from how the first quarter started. Cheers, guys. Truly. You know, yeah, a lot of us were in the same boat. Thanks, Shahin, for that. And another super chat from Soul Train says a confident Jalen Suggs is a difference maker. Jalen Suggs, confident man most of the time, and you're right when he's feeling it. 
total game changer. 187 of you are with us here at 936 on this Thursday night. You bunch of magic maniacs. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, definitely hit that like button if you're hanging out with us. And if you're brand new, maybe this is your first time here at the Six Man Show. We're an Orlando Magic podcast. We put out episodes every Monday and Thursday. And we have this live show right here on YouTube after each and every Orlando Magic game. And there's only people without shirts if we win five games in a row or more. So this is not necessarily always the, the thing. But if you enjoy it, you know, you can stick around for some more. <laughs> but yeah, we're an Orlando Magic podcast. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for hanging out with us. You, Kevin, you posed something in our group chat recently about when we allude to the, the five game win streak and the tarps coming off. <laughs> and I believe you said, like, if we hosted a watch party, mm -hmm. whether it's like the playoffs or whatever at mm -hmm. any point, and we are on a five game absolute heater or more, mm -hmm. would I be shirtless at this said party? And I've been thinking about that, and I don't know that I would show up shirtless, but I, I promise if the game is going well, it could happen. Right. You know what I mean? Right. If the bar will allow it, yeah, it will happen. Mm. I will get clearance. I would, but I there will not be. Someone said, "It will Luke." Did, I saw this chat. It said, "Will Luke do this again if the Magic win a championship?" You you don't want to see what I'm doing if the Magic <laughs> win a championship. If I'm being completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> the magic oh. win a championship then uh it's more than tarps off that's for sure and uh, i know i won't be alone in that i was about to say if that happens there will be a lot of people <laughs> without shirts let's just let's yeah. just be honest i mean yeah i can think of a lot of super diehard magic fans in our community that are going tarps off for sure yeah uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's keep going through some of this chat here. I mean, you guys are going absolutely bonkers over here. I'm going to try to hit as many of these as we can. Dizzy says, I could get used to these fronds to Palo alleys. Yeah, we've got a couple of them of late, which is pretty dang exciting, a lot of fun. That last one there in the fourth quarter to kind of put, pretty much put icing on the cake, that was spicy. Maybe yeah. spicy enough to be uh, the Jam Hot Chicken Jam mm -hmm. of the Week here coming up on Monday. We'll find out. We'll find out. We got another super chat flying in here from Cool Beans. He says, but in all seriousness, great game from Jalen, Paolo, Franz, and the whole team. And yes, fart jokes can solve world peace. Give us anybody. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, there's a Thanks. lot of validity to that. I a lot of it. That. Thanks so much for that super mm -hmm. chat. Always appreciated. All right. A couple more. Uh, by a couple more, I mean a lot more. Uh, thoughts here from the chat. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jeremy says triple double for Mr. P5. We haven't even talked about that. Did it in front of his mom. Triple double for really quick before we talk about Paolo. I I admit I'm I'm distracted over here because I did have this Oakland Kentucky game on right now. And sorry if any of you are Kentucky fans, but Oakland just beat Kentucky a 14 beating a three. You love to see it. Very exciting. Wildcats go down. Okay, back to this Paolo double second triple double of his career, and this one was. I think even more impressive than the, than the first one. I don't know if you want to talk about a little bit of Paolo action tonight, Luke. Uh, I mean, he didn't have it going. And yeah, this is what separates a good player from a great player. Someone else who is genuinely good at this is Cole Anthony. When, when he doesn't have it going, he typically is doing a good job getting his teammates involved, rebounding the basketball, contributing in ways, understanding like, hey, my shot's not falling right now, but I need to stay in the game. That's the most important thing. You can't check out. So the best way to do that as a player that's not hitting your shots is to facilitate and rebound. And that's what Paolo did tonight. 20, 10, and 11. He still ends, you know, from the field res respectively, 9 of 18. 2 of 5 from 3, which, fine, we'll take it 40%. Um, the weird thing tonight for Paolo was just nothing at the line. Like, literally nothing. Makes zero free throws, but only takes two. And Jalen Suggs, the only one who really can consistently get to the line tonight. He was 5 of 6. But, but yeah, Paolo just continues to show maturity. That when things aren't going his way, he is going to do the right things, do the little things. And then when he doesn't have the ball, he's going to uh, you know, create good position for himself. He's going to seal his man, get in the post, make the right cut, get the dunk, go on the break. You know, be the guy leading the break and, and, and give your, your teammates options. Paolo, all around, great game for him tonight to end up with that triple-double. It was no surprise once we got to, what, like the third quarter that we like were like, okay, well, he's going to definitely get it. It's just a matter of what the stat line is going to be. He showed a lot of maturity. Yeah, he was really, really good tonight. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he was awesome. We got several Super Chats coming in here. During the course of that, uh, Ace says, how many wins in a row for Kev to go tarps off? Kev's tarp is staying on until the Larry, the, the Larry, 
Larry O'Brien trophy. That's what I'm saying. That My tarp may come off during the parade or something. That's about it, all right? Tarp's staying on otherwise. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> They're getting greedy. They're they are. That's, greedy. That is some greed right there. Shameless greed. Ty, Mr. TV, thank you for that super chat. He's, Ty, Mr. TV says, Chip equals full Nelson. The moon will be all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ty, for that super chat. And Sammy says, uh, my hot take, Magic win 50 wins and make the conference finals. From there, anything can happen. What wins championships? Love you, boys. See you on the 30th. That would be a dream. Are you kidding me? Eastern Conference Finals? That would be wild. That would be... Uh, <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard for my yeah. little brain to, to wrap my head around that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and appreciate you plugging the uh, the group night that we're doing there on March thirtieth. Yeah. Yep. A little on court experience there at the the uh, beginning part of the afternoon. Going to be a lot of fun. I think we've got like sixty of us going to that specifically, and then I think we've got more tickets. I don't even know if there's more available or what's been going on at that point, but I know they put out some extras because it went out so quickly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, see you see you there. Appreciate the super chat. And uh, I would love for the Magic to be in the Eastern Conference Finals. That would be great. And 50 wins. I'm, mm, love I'm all, all board that. for all of it. Sign all of that. Seth says, low-key, feel bad for Brandon Ingram. Of course. Hate to see that. Such a super talented player and was playing pretty well tonight. Uh, was hurting the Magic on yeah. several occasions and obviously looked like kind of hyperextended his knee. Hopefully it's nothing more than that. Hopefully just a little strain there instead instead of like some sort of tear or whatever. Uh, but obviously we'll yeah. find out probably later tonight or in the morning. Uh, what's up with Brandon Ingram? Uh, all right, let's go through uh, several of these. Let's see. Chris said, did we answer the bell or what? Great win, Magic. Play that song, Facts. Again, lots of question marks coming into this. And uh, yeah, big time response there for the Magic. Uh, Seth says, top three most fun game of the year, if not the most fun. It's it's top five for me, probably. Um, we've had That's the thing I was thinking about today. I actually went back and watched parts of some of the games of the season earlier today there have been so many fun magic games this year it's gonna be so fun at the end of the season whenever the end of the season is first round second round championship whatever to go back and look over uh some of the best games of the year because there have been so many really really fun ones uh and it's been great to get to enjoy all of them with you guys for sure uh let's see here we're we're still not even at the start of the uh at the show, I'm, all these chats that I'm reading were still from before the show even started. Good grief. You guys are insane tonight. We're at 200 of you, by the way. What's up, all wow. 200 of you Magic Maniacs here at 943 on this Thursday night? Oh, uh, man. Local Chef says, all the boys were hooping tonight. Let's go. That is a team performance. Like, yeah, you had some guys play really well. Obviously, Powell, Triple Double, and all that kind of stuff. But what a team performance tonight for the Magic, which is that's the way the Magic are going to do it. Uh, yeah. Ryan with the March Madness theme chat says we're totally a Cinderella team in the playoffs this year. It feels like it. Here we are, you know, five seed, potentially the four seed by the end of the night. 42 wins. It's March 21st, and no one's talking about us still. Nobody. They're sleeping. In fact, some people are even snoring on us. Just saying. Mm, <coughs> Stephen true. A. Stephen uh, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, hope you, hopefully you guys got to see that because hopefully we can make him uh, regret that. Uh, man, this is so true. It says, Jalen kept this game alive for us and his energy became infectious to the rest of the team. He is truly the heart and soul. Yeah, we mentioned that earlier. Jalen kind of kept the team afloat in that first quarter. Second quarter, that second unit came in and just totally changed changed the game, man. Luke says, 33 assists. Is that what we ended up with tonight? That's crazy. Where'd my uh, my team stats go? 33 assists on 47 field goals. That's bonkers, man. That's awesome. That is great. Um, uh, Allie says, Woo, good evening, Kevin from Scotland. I stayed up late for this one. Wow, what a great one to stay up for. Glad you got to enjoy it and glad you're hanging out with us here on the uh, on the post-game live. That's that's awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Um, uh, Beats by Loso says, One of the best dubs of the season. Facts. Absolutely. Oh, goodness gracious. You guys, this is insane. This chat, this I'll just say this really quick before we go anywhere else. Like, this this is just a taste of the playoffs in here right now, guys. Like, again, 200 of you hanging out here. Chat going crazy. I don't know how I'm going to keep up in the playoffs, but I'm going to do my best. This is crazy. I'm finally at the chat now when Luke came in. Oh, I got to I gotta put up some of these. I mean, the people, the people love this. Ty says, the Nips come out for the night. Let's go. Dari says, let's go for the Nips. Big fan. There we go. A says, OMG, Luke. Chris says, rip that sucker. 
Uh, Rome says yeah. Luke's gonna need a new pack of shirts soon. Didala says set those nibs free. <laughs> Love that. Love I was that. thinking about that today, by the way, because you and I obviously had a conversation about this and dreamt about that moment. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna either like either I'm just gonna start just taking shirts off because I can only rip so many, <laughs> or I'm gonna get just like packs of white plain white t-shirts yeah so that, show that might have might to fund be, that yeah absolutely yeah we might have yep. to do that you get the approval from the boss the nod there for the mm. uh the packs of shirts or chris says chris says gonna need a sponsor that provides shirts to rip soon that's not a bad idea oh. fruit of the loom maybe shirt rip fruit sponsored by fruit of the loom i don't know yeah i think you're onto something see. i listen i i appreciate the <laughs> i appreciate the love tonight and the chat it's uh mm. it, it's 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 a fun time, and and I'm glad that the magic gave us a, a reason to to have this tonight. But um, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate you having me on, letting me Luke, always interject fun. here for a few minutes. But uh, I'm gonna let Kevin drive the rest of the way here. Appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll be continue watching. So, yeah, well. and uh, I guess they can look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Now the big thing is, guys, really quick before you go, Luke, Magic play on Saturday. So if the Magic lose, Luke, Luke's shirt comes on for Monday's episode. Okay, so it's like it's the those of you that are here, that you get to see this, you know, right here live. Those that missed yeah, it, if the mag if the Magic lose on Saturday, they're missing out. You know. So anyway, Luke, thanks for hanging out. Always fun, uh, and and congrats on the the shirtless five game win streak again. Thank you. I'll see you, man. Congrats to you for experiencing it. See ya. <laughs> see you, bro. Oh, uh, what a guy, Luke Sylvia. Oh gosh, that's so funny. Now all the viewership's gonna go way down because Luke's the shirtless man is gone. Just kidding. <laughs> Finley says, shirt back on, please. Wow, all right. <laughs> not everyone's a fan. Not everyone's a fan, and I get it. It's all right. It's not for everybody. Oh man. Time Mr. TV says Suggs needs his flowers. He kept it from getting out of hand. 100 <coughs> percent Excuse me. Paul says, UK. All right, you're in uh, in the UK. It says time for bed on a high. Nuggets to beat New York and Pels to bounce back against the Heat. This weekend could be perfect with a revenge game against the Kings. What do you reckon? Mm, that sounds like a perfect weekend for me. Let's go. Brian says, Zion challenge accepted, guarded, complete. Yeah, Zion kept in check all night long. What did he end up with? I don't even know what he ended up with. He ended up with 20 on 8 of 15 from the field, which for Zion, you'll take that. You'll take that. It sounds great, but you'll take it. Captain Turk says, why are Orlando fans so slow getting back to their seats at the start of the third quarter? I can't get to games from being from overseas, but it doesn't look great on TV. It's the way it is in every NBA arena, unfortunately. There are just so many amenities in these arenas, and the people in the lower bowl, lower parts of the lower bowl especially, that's why they pay the big bucks, um, is so they can go to all the, the nice you know lounges and restaurants and all kind of stuff. And so a lot of people take half time as an opportunity to do that. That's their choice, but I agree it doesn't look great on TV. Hopefully in the playoffs that'll shift a little bit, but it won't ever fully shift as you know, considering the way that the NBA um is structured these days, unfortunately. It's rough. Oh, we got more friends from overseas. A1 says love from the UK. 1:30 a.m. now and have to work in the morning, but who cares? Let's go, Magic Big Win. Yes, let's go. Thanks for tuning in. Uh gosh, some of you guys. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see here. Miguel says our defense is playoff ready. We can suffocate teams with J.I. and Jalen on the floor together. That is facts, man. Those two, woof, incredible, incredible. I love Palos. Great win, Orlando. But how is Zion allowed to shoulder charge into people like we're in the NFL? He does it every night. It's like how he does things, and just because he's a big dude and a superstar, he gets away with it. It's 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 very interesting. It's very interesting. Rome says, give us whoever in the first round. Oof. Love that. Love that. Bring him on. Bring him on. Um, <laughs> Quentin says, ESPN or TNT needs to flex a game for us. I, yeah. I had several games earlier this season that I thought they were going to flex, and they haven't done it yet. So, yeah, I, I would. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. They're just going to have to wait for the playoffs, and that's the way it goes. Whatever. Whatever. I'm um, Joey says Kings lost against the Wizards. What they did? Oh, they did. 109, 102. That stinks. So he says, you know, they are you already know they will turn up against us. Unfortunately, I think you are right. That is rough. That is rough. Oh man. Steven says Fultz with a solid game. Exactly what you want from him. 
Yes and no. I mean, definitely solid. I think he had six assists tonight, right? Let's see. Yeah, six assists, six point six assists, three or four from the field. I mean, yeah. I think you're you're mostly right. Yeah, there are a couple times tonight where he's still just so hesitant because he can't shoot, and it's just I don't know. But for what Markel is and what he can offer you, you're right. That's uh, that is what he gave you. Oh man, Jonathan. Host of the Sick Man Show says our best players played really well tonight, made the win that much more satisfying. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Noel says down goes Kentucky. Yeah, that was fun. Zaki says 50 wins. Here's the deal. I said if you go, if you are able to find a way to go at least two and two with this four game stretch against Western Conference teams, you have a chance at 50. If you go better, I think you have a really good chance at 50. Magic start one and oh. Against on this four game stretch against the four Western Conference teams at home, one and zero. So a really good start to that. We'll see. We'll see what can happen. Ellis said Zion had eight turnovers. Yeah, because he had three, maybe four. I think it was at least three offensive fouls. Each one of those is counted as a turnover. Uh, yeah, had a couple bad passes. Lost the ball out of bounds a couple times. Not bad. Not bad. Oh my gosh, some of you, some of you need to check yourself. Sheesh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, Isaac, this is, yeah. <laughs> Jay, I went crazy in the second quarter and got gassed. Hopefully these next few weeks prioritize building up his tank for the playoff run. That was such an interesting sequence because the possession before you could tell he was gassed, like he was really slow, then played great defense to force that turnover. And it, 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 it was such a buzzkill, honestly. Magic had all the momentum. They just forced the turnover. And he had to take a timeout because J.I. couldn't make it down the floor. Like, that was kind of rough. Um, part of it is, obviously, you know, hasn't played a lot. But, you know, you're right. I hope he can get ramped up because that cannot happen in the playoffs. Like, And that was only after, like, I think eight minutes he had been in the game. Yeah, kind of unfortunate there. Hopefully he can uh, get into a little bit better game shape for that. Jorge says, Orlando Nippage. Oh, 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 oh. that's so funny. Oh, goodness gracious. Roberts says, Magic not losing Saturday. I like the confidence. We'll see. Sacramento's a really, really good team. Really, really good team. Oh, man. Doc2 says, Bucks, Cavs, and Knicks have injury situations while the Magic are healthy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, knock on wood somewhere. There's some wood. Yeah. Uh, G uh, the only person tonight, Gary Harris, did leave uh, at halftime and did not return with a sore right foot. So hopefully that's nothing, you know, too serious. Maybe he got his foot stepped on or something. Who knows? I, I don't. I don't know where that happened, but uh, I would be willing to guess that that's one of those injuries that was like, if this was the playoffs, he'd be playing in the second half type thing, you know. But hey, playoffs around the corner. No need to rush it. Just you know, let him rest. Ryan says after the first round of the playoffs, will be guaranteed national TV, not NBA TV. Uh, in the first round of the playoffs, you'll be guaranteed national TV. Not every game, but the first game for sure. Uh, and then game six and at least, sorry, game one and game seven are guaranteed to be national TV. Most of the time, game sixes are guaranteed to be national TV, unless there's a ton of game sixes. Uh, but yeah, so the Magic's first game uh, in the first round of the playoffs will be on national TV for sure. And then if it goes seven, that'll be on national TV. But there's a chance that games two through six could be NBA TV. However, think about the opponent. If you play the New York Knicks, you're not going to be on NBA TV. That's not going to happen. They're not putting the Knicks on NBA TV. Maybe once at most, but not outside of that. Now, if you play the Pacers or the Cavs, even the Bucks, yeah, you're going to be on NBA TV a few times for sure. But not the Knicks. Not the Knicks. They would never do that. Oh, man. Uh, NBA, Blaze says, NBA TV is a sign that NBA is acknowledging the Magic will earn more televised games on NBA ESPN, TNT, and ABC Watch. Guys, we're almost out of time for flexing this season. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, they announced flexes like two weeks in advance, usually, at least, usually more than that. And so, I don't know, guys. We're running out of time. The season is, is like, what, three weeks? I think Sunday would be three weeks away from the end of the regular season. Is it three or four? Let's see. One, yeah, three weeks. Sunday is three weeks from the end of the regular season. So we're almost out of time. Almost out of time. We'll see. There's a chance that the last game of the season against the Bucs, that's an open date. Any team can be scheduled for that 
uh, the national TV slate for that day. So that's possible, but there's some other options there. Oh, this is a good idea. Nugget score check. Usually I check the scoreboard at the end of the show, but we'll, we'll do a little nugget score check here. Oh, Nick's up six in the second quarter. Come on, Denver. Wake up. Let's go. Good grief. Useless. Useless. All right. Almost to the end of the chat here. I know I've had to skip a lot of you, but you guys, there's just so much. This is just a taste of the playoffs, guys. The playoffs in here are going to be bonkers, and I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. Glenn says, Mo with 14 points in 14 minutes. 5 of 5, 2 of 2 from 3. Mo Wagner was nice tonight. Very, very nice. Love that. Love that. CM says, if we're hosting game one, what day would it be? Game one this year is April 20th and 21st, Saturday, Sunday. It'll be either one of those days. Every game one takes place on either April 21st or 21st. Uh, I can't talk. April 20th or 21st, that Saturday, Sunday. All game ones, all eight of them will be... Um, uh, <laughs> I accidentally clicked add this to the broadcast, but it says keep Luke topless. That's funny. Uh, all of those game ones will be Saturday or Sunday. Um, now, which one will it be? There's there's no way to know which day, but it's it's possible. Yeah, Matt, that's the one I'm talking about. Magic Bucks games may have huge playoff implications. Could see a flex there. It's very possible, especially the Sunday one because it's an open date. Open date. All right, guys. Let's see. What are we going to do here? Let's, um, let's do the box score. There's a lot of good stuff in the box score today. Let's take a look at it. Obviously, we'll look at the triple-double and all that good stuff. Woof. Okay. Uh, yeah, Franz tonight. Really, really good, I thought. 18 points, 7-13 from the field. Got to the rim many times. The Pelicans really allowed the Magic to get to the rim after the first, like, seven minutes of the first quarter. The Magic did a really good job of that. Also went 2-5 of five from three, which you love to see. Been really struggling with the three ball this season. Uh, Paolo, though, tonight. Wow, he ended up 50% from the field. That's awesome. 9 of 18 from the field, 2 of 5 from 3. Missed both of his free throws. Don't love that, but 10 boards, 11 assists, and a steal to go with his 20 points for his second career triple-double. You just love to see that from Paolo. He was awesome tonight. He was really, really good. Wendell, 8.6 boards, 4 assists, 3 steals. Unfortunately, he and Paolo combined for 0 of 5 from the free throw line. That was painful. Uh, Gary Harris tonight only played 12 minutes because he left at halftime with that right foot injury. Five points for him. Jalen Suggs was just terrific tonight. 22 points on 7 of 14 and 3 of 8 from 3 with 5 of 6 from the free throw line. He was awesome. J.I. tonight, 9 points in just, just under 16 minutes. Also had 5 boards, 2 assists, 2 steals. Not credited with a block. Now that is interesting because at the end of, was it the third quarter or the second quarter? I can't remember. Pelicans had a shot at the buzzer. A guy was fading out of bounds. He got the shot off in time, and J.I. blocked it. He got a piece of that shot. It should have been a block. J.I. should have had a block tonight. I almost can guarantee that'll be stat corrected tomorrow because I saw it with my own eyes. That should have been a block. Markel, we already talked about him a little bit. Six points for him, three of four from the field. Also had six assists. It's a good Markel game there. Cole was great tonight. I thought he was so good, so calm, so collected. Hitting his shots, 10 points for him as well as five boards. Joe Ingles did not score tonight, but did have uh, three boards, two assists, and three steals. Joe was super active tonight um, defensively. Uh, then we had Mo Wagner. We talked about him already. He was terrific. Just did whatever he wanted, which is awesome. Uh, Caleb Houston came in in the second half for Gary. Um, obviously, like I mentioned, Gary not returning. And then Caleb Black, Chuma. Uh, Caleb Black, wow. Anthony Black, Chuma, okay, okay. Admiral Schofield and Goga came in for the last 4.30 of garbage time as the Pelicans wave the white flag because it is the first night of a back-to-back -back for them. What a just solid box score for this team. Guys doing a little bit of everything, doing it by committee, five guys in double figures. That's just, that's magic basketball, and you love to see it. Pelicans win the first quarter and the fourth quarter, but it's those middle two quarters there for the Magic that did all the damage. They win the second by 14 and the third by 11. 25 points you outscore the Pelicans in the second and third quarter combined. It's amazing. 62 points in the paint for the Magic. Uh, they had the biggest lead of 21 points, 48 bench points, 14 turnovers considering the start they had. Not that bad. You know, they, they bounced back pretty well. And then you had 25 points off of the 18 Pelicans turnovers. That's a lot of turnovers uh, for the Pelicans. Look at some of the team shooting stats here. Both teams shoot pretty much the same, 54% from the field. The difference, Magic go 14 of 36 from three for 38.9%. That's awesome. Free throws, not awesome. 68% from the free throw line, never great. 
You do get 11 offensive rebounds. This team is just crashing the glass right now, and you love to see it. 33 assists on those 47 field goals. That's awesome. And some of these other st stats we already saw tonight. Oh, man. Chat, we got a lot more of you uh, leaving some thoughts here. Let's see. Yeah, Didala says, just play the Knicks and you'll get plenty of national TV. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Soul Train says, Sacramento are really good offensively, but occasionally have some really bad defensive games. That is 100% true. He says, I think Paolo is a bad matchup for them as well. Suggs defense against Fox will be important. I still remember that Sacramento game from that road trip. Do you guys remember how insane that game was? Like, you were already missing guys. Franz, that's where Franz got hurt. Remember, he, that's when he had the bad ankle sprain. He was out for like three weeks, four weeks, whatever it was. Three weeks, I think it was. Two weeks, I don't know, whatever. You lose Franz in the first quarter of that game. Later in the game, Paolo gets hurt. No, actually, Gary got hurt first. We lose Gary. Then Paolo gets hurt, but comes back and has an, ends up having, at the time, a career high, which is still tied for career high, I believe, 43 points. Game goes to double overtime. Paolo hit an insane three at the end of regulation to send it to overtime, and then hit a layup at the end of overtime to send it to double overtime, and the Magic just fell that much short. But that was one of the craziest regular season games I've ever seen in my life. And so hopefully the Magic are going to be out for some revenge on Saturday. Um, let's see here. Yeah, D Saturday says, Mo hit big shots, facts. Franz was making threes, Blaze said. Yes, absolutely. Carlos says, they should flex us in. I mean, who would you rather see, the geriatric Lakers or the fun Magic? You're exactly right, Carlos. You're exactly right. But the rest of the league has not woken up to that yet, which is tragic. Maxi says, Fulton Isaac looking great off the bench for us tonight. Yeah, they were the whole bench was great. Janine says, this team is so special. Some days I have to pinch myself. You're 100% right. We, I'm just so grateful for this team. CM says, Sacramento just lost Herder too. Yeah, Kevin Herder uh, out for the season, um, which is pretty unfortunate for them. I don't know. Let me correct that. I don't remember. Did they say season or did they say regular season? I can't remember. Um, yeah, oh. Oh, someone's calling for the spreadsheet. You guys want to do the spreadsheet now? Is it spreadsheet time? Let's do the spreadsheet. Why not? It's a big night. Every night's a big night right now, you know? <sighs> okay. This is what's going on right now. Or no, sorry. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Heat. We already mentioned that. Pelicans. Uh, first off, hit the like button for the spreadsheet. If you haven't hit the like button yet, now you got to hit it. The spreadsheet's up. Likes, around, likes all around. Here we go. <laughs> New Orleans in Miami tomorrow. Second night of a back-to-back -back for New Orleans. Heat coming off of that victory in Cleveland on Wednesday. That's going to be a tough game for New Orleans. Second night of a back-to-back -back is always tough. However, I think I think they got a good chance. Pelicans are a good team. We're just a little bit better. <laughs> but then the rest of these games, guys, this is the game. This is the night I circled back on Tuesday. Because you have the Sixers in LA to play the Lakers, the Pacers in in San Francisco to play the Warriors and the Cavs in Minnesota to play the Timberwolves. They could easily go 0 and 4 there. Those four teams could easily lose all four of those games. And if that happens, let's let's do this real fast. If that happens, let me pull up my standings and we'll look at these standings here in a second when we check the scores around the league. If that happens, your Orlando Magic will be, let me see here. All right. If, I'll save that for last. I'll save that for last. Okay, let's say the Pelicans beat the Heat. You will then be four games up on the Heat. Let's say the Lakers beat the Sixers. You will be four games up on the Sixers. Let's say the Warriors beat the Pacers. You will be three and a half games up on the Warriors. And finally, let's say, let's just say that the Timberwolves beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. You want to know what happens, guys? Your Orlando Magic would be one game back of the three seed. <laughs> One game back of the three seed. Are you kidding me? Now, yeah, the Cavs have some easy ones here. Hornets, Hornets coming up in a cup in next week. Hornets, Hornets. Sixers. They've been an easier opponent lately. But then look what happens. Nuggets, Jazz Suns back to back. Lakers, Clippers back to back out west. This is ripe for the taking. That three seed, I, if you listen to today's episode of, six, episode of the Six Man Show, which you should, by the way, if you haven't yet, you should listen to it tonight or in the morning or whatever. 
uh, Jonathan and Luke are very much like rooting for, they, they care most about the teams behind us losing, which I understand. We want to make the playoffs. That's fine. I am locked in on Cleveland right now. I'm locked in because they ha- they're without uh, Donovan Mitchell and I just smell blood in the water. Why not go after that three seed? Why not? I think we can do it, but we'll see. That has been tonight's spreadsheet sponsored by nobody. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let's do this. Let us. A couple people are giving some updates on this game. Let's go ahead and look at uh, look at the scores around the league. Halftime in Denver, and the Denver Nuggets lead by five, baby. Let's freaking go. Just a reminder: if Denver holds on, your Orlando Magic will be the four seed at the end of the night, which would be a very fun way to end the night. What was a really fun night. Other scores around the league here. Magic up uh, win uh, 121 to 106 over the New Orleans Pelicans, of course. Rockets up only 11. Interesting. On the Bulls. They they got off, I saw earlier they got off to a really fast start. Uh, but the Bulls climbing back into it there. What? The Nets came back? The Nets are up three on the box. They were down a lot. They've outscored them 21 to 6 in the fourth quarter. 641 left. Oh my goodness! I didn't even talk about them, the Bucks, because I thought they were going to gain, they were going to stay, you know, uh, within the same range tonight because they were going to win. But wow, the Nets had the lead. Hold on to that thought. We'll talk about that in a second. When we look at the standings. Mavericks currently lead the lead the uh, the Jazz. Nuggets up on the Knicks, and as was mentioned earlier, the Wizards beat the Kings. That is crazy. That is crazy. All right. Um, look at these standings. I'm going to refresh these one more time here. I didn't even mention the Bucs earlier because I thought they were going to win. But if the Bucs lose tonight, the Magic are going to be two games back of the... <laughs> the Magic are going to be two games back of the two seed. And we play Milwaukee twice in the last week of the, series, of the season. Are you kidding me? If the Nets can hold on, which is a big if. There's still six and a half minutes to go and it's only a three-point game. If the Nets hold on, the Orlando Magic will be two games back of the two-seed Milwaukee Bucks. Mm. Okay, Magic right now, one and a half games back of Cleveland. Currently tied with the Knicks, depending on how that game will end. They have a three-game lead on the Pacers, a three-and-a-half game lead on the Heat, a three-and-a-half game lead on the Sixers. Wow. We're not quite there yet, guys. Tonight was game number, what was it, 71? Is that what tonight was? Or no, tonight was 70. Tonight was 70. Okay. So that means you have, what, 12 games left? 12 games left in the season. We're almost there, guys, to where on this show, we're going to be talking about magic numbers. It's been a few years since we've had to talk about magic numbers. I don't mean magic numbers referring to the Orlando Magic. I mean magic numbers referring to playoff clinching numbers. We're not there yet. But with 12 games to go and a three and a half game lead, we are almost in magic number territory where I'm going to get on here and say the magic number for the magic to clinch the playoffs is this many games, which is a combination of magic wins versus, you know, other team losses. We're almost there. We're not quite there. But if this team keeps winning, we're going to be there sooner rather than later, which is I just crazy. I can't believe that. All right, chat. Can you get your last thoughts here before we call it tonight? We've already hit 45 minutes, but hey, what a special night. We got to celebrate a big win. Got to see some of Luke's nipples, which is awesome. Love that. Lots of you still loving the spreadsheet. Thomas says, I wonder if the Pelicans will take the bright line to get to Miami. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, man. Now, imagine you just get on the train and Zion's there, all crammed in like economy seating. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Maxi says, Paola had good recognition tonight. Shot wasn't falling early, so he locked in defensively and set the table for everyone else. Great sign. He's a leader this team needs. 100%. Love that. Oh, Thanks Braza says, why not us? Why not now? Why not? Why not? Chris says, I don't know, guys. Tankathon might be in our future. The only time I go to Tankathon anymore is because they have strength of schedule on there, which is really fun to look at. That's about it. Uh, yeah, lots of you surprised at that Brooklyn score. Me too. I still can't believe it. I'm about to watch the end of that game. Crazy. Thanks. Oh, this is so good. Thanks, Praises says, I'd love to see us above the Bucks and 76ers in the standings just to spite Pat Bev. 
I've been thinking about that. If we can play the Bucks in the second round and beat them, imagine. I know it's a long shot. That is a long, long shot, by the way. I'm not saying we would do that. I would not ever pick us to do that. I love this team, but come on now. But if we did, I would roast Pat Beverly so hard on this show that we would have like, every Magic fan would tweet at him and he would see it and he would call me out on his show. I would do it. I would have to. I'd have I'd have no other choice. It would be my duty, my responsibility to give him the Eddie House treatment. <laughs> if you know, you know. Nidala says, Good night, Magic Maniacs. Thanks for another great show. Kevin and Luke's nipples. <laughs> Love to see that. Love to see that. Oh man, Ace has 108 likes, 100, 108 likes. That's awesome. If you haven't yet, please hit that like button before you uh, head out tonight. Uh, last couple things here. Nathan says Cole was excellent tonight. Again, our big wins early in the season depended on our bench. Cole back to his best is huge facts. Yeah. And then time lapse says what's up with Gary. Yes. Gary left at halftime with a sore right foot. Didn't sound like it's anything serious. He should be back in no time at all. No time at all. All right, guys. Last thing before we go tonight, a couple things. Number one, the six fan show. They just got done wrapping up uh, recording that outside of Kia Center tonight. So we'll get that edited and up uh, later tonight. So be on the lookout for that. If you're a night owl, you can stay up and watch that tonight or uh, tune into that in the morning. Um, so that'll, that'll be fun. Some fun reactions, obviously, I expect uh, after this this really big and important Pelicans win. Second thing is, we've been talking about Rockham all season long. Oh, wait, before we do that, we got, we got a super chat. Soul Train says, aren't the Magic only two games behind second place right now we are two and a half games behind second place soul train so if the bucks were to lose tonight then we will be two games back of second place which is pretty awesome um uh da, 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 what was it? oh we've talked about rockham all season long okay i just want to say if any of you have purchased rockham socks this season thank you so much like that is so helpful to our show like it's it's so great not only for that but supporting a local business in central florida Big shout out to you guys. Thank you for doing that. If you haven't yet, this is a great time to do it. Playoffs right around the corner. You want to get that magic gear collected, get it ready so you can show out during the playoffs. We just always ask that you use this code MAGIC20 uh, to get you 20% off of your order um, at rockham.com. Again, that's that's what helps us show out a lot. Um, and, and it just shows Rockham, hey, there's a lot of magic fans out there. We love, you know, magic fans that love this, uh, the product that Rockham puts out there. So uh, big shout out to you guys. Big shout out to Rockham. And thank you so much for, uh, for doing that so all right guys that's gonna do it for us tonight what a fun show a groundbreaking show we've done things tonight we've never done on the show before we've had people take off their shirts and all kinds of fun stuff so thanks for hanging out with us like i said six fan show will be out late 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 tonight so if you're night owl stick up stay up for that if not you'll see it tomorrow i'll be back for saturday's game against the kings let's get revenge uh hopefully we'll see but enjoy your friday and your saturday i'll see you after the game uh on saturday but until then of course let's go Magic!